Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's a little bit of a strange weekend for me this weekend. I had some spare time, so I was planning on heading out of the city to do a bit of birding. But um, over the last few days in Victoria, we've had an absolute deluge just dump on the whole state. And there's a lot of flooding around, which means we're almost sort of marooned here in Melbourne. Um, a lot of roads have been flooded and, and cut off, so we, I can't really head out. No matter, um, it's late sort of spring-ish, um, and the kingfishers have come back to the outskirts of Melbourne. So um, while I'm stuck here, I'll make the most of it and try and find some kingfishers to take some photos of. Let's head off and see if we can get them. All right, so the kingfishers are just here somewhere. I can hear them. They have a really distinctive call. People think it sounds like a squeaky toy. Um, so the plan, I guess, is to sort of set up, um, try and find a perch where I think they're gonna land and wait for them to, to come in down from the trees. Let's go. Okay, so just a couple of times I've seen them come into some of the low branches here along the riverbank. So I think to start off, we'll set up base here and just see what we get. Hopefully they come down again and we can get some shots. So they're definitely flying around, um, but they seem a bit jumpy at the moment. They're not really coming down, so I might just grab my bag hide and sit in that for a bit and see if they feel more relaxed with me being around and then come down. Try not to laugh at me too much while I do this. It's not very, not very graceful getting into this thing. Okay, this, uh, this strategy is clearly not working. So um, I might make a bit of a move. They are calling, it's only about 10 meters around that they're calling. I'll see if I can sneak up on them there. Otherwise, I might have to head across the creek because they're spending a lot of time there, but everyone knows what'll happen. As soon as I head over to that side, they'll, they'll pop back over, over here. Anyway, we'll uh, keep battling away and see what we can get. Yeah, so he's way up in the tree up there. Um, a terrible spot for any sort of photos. Hopefully he comes down soon. He's being uh, particularly uncooperative today. So part of the problem with the kingfishers may be that they're a little bit distracted. So I've just found a hollow here that they're trying to come in and out of. So they may have other things on their mind other than uh, having me take photos of them.
Righto, so I have moved, but it hasn't necessarily made my task any easier. Um, the kingfishers are easy to find. Um, there's quite a few of them around, maybe three or four, but they're very, very jumpy and fidgety. I think that's probably because it's so early in the season that the birds are trying to work each other out and form pairs. And so that's why they're spending so much time up in the tree. I'm able to get um, some good video footage of them, but just no um, compositions that I'm happy with in terms of photography. They're just not coming down low and not sort of isolating themselves on those branches. It's pretty messy. So um, what I think I might do is there's lots of other species of birds around. I might concentrate on getting some photos of them just so I don't go home empty handed and it might be a matter of coming back in a, a week or two when the kingfishers have settled down a bit more um, and then trying to, to get some photos then. Let's see what else we can find and hopefully I get uh, a couple of photos that I can go home proud with. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed seeing those kingfishers. And while it didn't really work out for me in terms of the quality photos I was able to get, it was still great just to be outside and spend time with the birds. In fact, I don't know if you can see behind me here is a, a little family of white winged choffs chattering away as I'm trying to do this, this last piece of camera. But what happened today is actually a reality of what it's like to be a wildlife photographer. Plenty of times I head out and don't get anything at all but doesn't mean it's a wasted day. It's still nice to be outside in nature. Please remember if you like this video to like and subscribe to my channel because that would really help me out. I'll see you back on the channel again soon.